Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I'm taking you into the Fitbit app, into account, into sense, and into apps because today we're going to talk about Mr. Tick's favorite free apps. Yep, going to go to all apps and show you a variety of them that you could download and install into your Fitbit Sense. Now, we've reviewed a lot about this watch so far and I'd like to let you know you can get to the full folder of reviews at tinyurl.com slash Fitbit reviews and please share that with your show, social media friends if you find this information helpful if you don't have a sense yet we've got a link for you in the show notes that you can pick it up from amazon amazon.com and uh, please use the link we've got there if you want to buy one of these it'll help us out here at the channel but let's get started when you get in here there's all kinds of apps in all kinds of categories and everybody likes different stuff I'm going to show you the ones I really like starting with my absolute favorite I love it so much I made it my default app when I press and hold the button here on the side it takes me into GPS speed now I can't really demo it properly for you because uh, I'm not moving but if I were you'd get your GPS uh, speed right here you get an arrow right here that shows you the direction you're going your current altitude your current current heading you've got all of that you've got the detail down to really really fine detail and you've got some settings where you can leave the screen on all the time enable the phone's assistant and let me tell you about that you can set what kind of units you want to uh, meters feet you name it maximum speed uh, for it to actually start registering and so forth and so on now this business about enabling phone assist I wish they did this on all devices what that means is when you first turn this thing on in that mode and it attempts to connect with GPS it will immediately connect with your phone if it's tethered to your phone and pull the GPS from the phone while it's waiting to get the GPS from inside the watch which might take 30 seconds a minute but you get instant speed you get instant direction you get it now really really cool that's my top top recommendation of all of the apps that I've seen is that particular GPS one so that one's called GPS speed free app download it directly onto your device and the next one we may as well stay up in the sky a little bit is the International Space Station ISS when I bring this up I get the ISS tracker again another free app it's going to show you your location latitude and longitude and the next pass and of course ratings are just starting to come in on these because these are all relatively new first apps on this store a whole brand new category starting for mine it's actually set up here and you can see down here the location of when uh, it's going to be passing over and what I'm covering is my exact location in latitude and longitude and so that's the uh, ISS tracker app the next one I want to show you is called rain rain is a really interesting one it uh, ties you into your location and it's going to show you when the predicted rainfall is going to happen on an hourly basis and here it is this one's a free app as well um, you have your settings and your permissions that you have to set up for it and it's uh, working great you can get more features by paying uh, for some upgrades but you get a really nice um, use of it just as it is another fun free weather app is called Kelton SV3 you install this one in centigrade or Fahrenheit you can get pretty much a quick and easy forecast on your wrist looks like this and you saw it went into its sleep ambient mode which is just the time down in the corner so if you want to kind of carry the weather with you and just look at the time when it times out and just have the, the time and twist your wrist to see the forecast this is a really good one very simple constantly updated 
Kelton SV3. Now, the last one, and I really like this one, is called Fair Tides, and it's really fun. Uh, if you live near an ocean, even if you don't, it's going to use your GPS location as well to to show you the tides in the location nearest you uh, right on your watch. When it goes into ambient mode, like it is right now, you see the curve and where you are in the 24-hour period. But when it activates, you actually see a bunch of information like your temperature and weather forecasts and so forth. The actual height for high tide and low tide. and It's just really, really fun. Time, date. I use this as my actual watch because when it times out, it goes into an ambient uh, display, which is pretty neat. And you have all these other screens, too, that you can slide between that will show you uh, other information, including your weather forecast in the area as well. Check that one out, Fair Tides. It's a free app. And, uh, yeah, it's only been put up since November. This is just the beginning of January. So lots of uh, additional apps will be coming. But wait, there's more. How about maps? Yep, more, one more GPS coordinate one. You can have your regular maps or a street type of a map in this particular app, Maps. Um, and it it's working. Uh, right now I don't have it set up, but... Uh, otherwise, you'd be seeing either the street map like that or a uh, like the Google um, satellite uh, map directly on the watch. And when I do have it working, it shows up great. You can see landmarks and everything. And it's free, and it's called Maps. There you go. I had to activate it. There's the satellite map of where Mr. Tix is sitting in the middle of the rainforest right now. It's a little bit off because I'm not sitting outside. Oh, look at that. You can scroll it around, too. Awesome. Very, very fun. Yep, maps. It's not navigation now, but wherever you're at, we'll show you the map. And as you're moving, the map will move along with you. From what I've seen, if you tap that button so it locks in on your current location. There's a bunch of flashlight apps on here, and most all of them are free. This one in particular, Color Flash, I really like because you can actually change the color if you want to, and you can change the speed. Now, to do that, you activate in the corner, and you can run through a variety of different colors. And if you go back, you could do that. 63 different colors. Um, you also can change it so that it will be flashing. There we go. Uh, as well. So you can change the color. You can change the flash rate. And I don't want to mess with any of you that might be sensitive to that. Uh, or turn that off. Go back to your colors. All, all that is capable here with Color Flash. And that's a free app as well. And that's only been up since September. The next app I'm hoping to pull off of my list in about six months, COVID-19. Uh, and it's accurate. It seems to be, when I check it against other, other um, data, is showing you statistics related to COVID-19. And here on New Year's Eve, um, globally, these are the numbers that we're seeing for the COVID-19 in the United States. You're looking at these numbers. New Year's Eve. So this is how we end 2020 as the state of California itself. It's looking like that. Um, yeah, not a happy note, but it's an important app if you're trying to track that information and find it valuable. COVID-19 put up back in November and uh, will be pulled down this time next year, by golly. And the last one I like to show you is everybody's favorite if you're a workout buff, and that's Strava. Yes, you can integrate Strava. You don't get a lot of details on it, but you do get your activities. Uh, you can also get a chart of where you went, a track, and uh, just basic information when you go into them. Distance, elevation gain, moving time, one page worth of information. Uh, and, of course, all your different activities are listed as well. No matter what device you're using that you are syncing to Strava, 
that data will show up. Now, these are not data points that I've done with this watch. As you saw, it's coming in back in November from a different app. Um, so I'm not too sure about the overall integration with Strava for using the uh, Fitbit Sense to put the data into Strava. But if you have a Strava account and you want to see your data on the watch, you can set that all up and it's available for you there. And that pretty much wraps up our list of overall apps that you can get on your Fitbit Sense. They, uh, again, are all listed in here. If you hit View All, you can see a specific category and run through all of these. Some of them are already on your watch, like Starbucks and some of the audio ones, like Pandora. But you got Yelp. Of course, you have Find My Phone uh, yeah, just just tons and tons of apps. Some of them you do need to pay for. You got to set up an account to do that. I haven't done that yet, uh, but a lot of them are free, and every one of them I showed you so far um, are free. So have at it. Enjoy your uh, brand new Fitbit Sense just coming on the market. And remember, if you don't have one yet and you'd like to pick one up. Um, Please use the link we have here in the show notes. We get credit for that and uh, helps us bring you more watches and, of course, all these detailed uh, reviews. And if you'd like to share with your social media, tinyurl.com slash Fitbit Reviews, you can head over there. It, uh, this link will take you to a playlist that lists all of the reviews we've done so far on this amazing watch and any future Fitbit watches uh, yet to come out in 2021. We'll see you again later. Thanks for watching, gang.